Snapdragon 835 was finally unveiled in CES this year with some great improvements in speed and efficiency. Let's get started. Starting off as said, Qualcomm used 10 nanometer FinFit process for producing Snapdragon 835, which has made this chipset 35% smaller than Snapdragon 820. And continuing the flow, this chip is built on cryo CPU architecture with 8 cores. But now Qualcomm has distinguished the cores. You get 4 performance core clocked at 2.45 GHz and 4 efficiency core clocked at 1.9 GHz. Well, if you couldn't guess it, this changes improved the battery performance. That is, it now consumes 25% less power than Snapdragon 821. Alright, without getting into depth of graphics, this chipset is powered by Adreno 540 GPU, which of course delivers great performance. And now this chipset also supports virtual and augmented reality. Well, coming to camera, this chipset supports 4K video recording at 30 and 60 frames per second. And now, addition to that, this chipset can bear up to 32 megapixel single or 16 megapixel dual cameras, which is great. Now, let's talk about battery performance. Quick Charge 4.0 made it to Snapdragon 835. And Qualcomm promises that it will be 20% faster and 30% more efficient than Qualcomm 3.0. Yes, Snapdragon 835 now supports Windows 10. So expect some Windows phone to make it into the market with Snapdragon 835. Talking of that, these are rumored smartphones with Snapdragon 835. The first is Samsung Galaxy S8. Following that, Note 8, LG G6, Xiaomi Mi6, OnePlus 4. You can read more on Snapdragon 835 on our website. Click on the card or check the link in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed this short informational video. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching. This has been Atish from Tech Dipper signing off. Thanks for watching.